Let's take a look at CaC2O4, see whether it's soluble or insoluble. This is calcium oxalate. So I have a general set of solubility rules here, and the oxalate, that ion doesn't show up on our general rules. The oxalate ion is C2O4 2 minus. And I also don't see the oxalate ion on my solubility chart. So what I can do is I can go to Wikipedia or another source and look up solubility data. It turns out that oxalates in general are insoluble. Almost all oxalates are insoluble. So if we look up the solubility of this calcium oxalate here, we can see for the solubility 0.67 milligrams per liter. This is really small because we're not talking about grams here. We're talking about milligrams. There are a thousand milligrams in one gram. So just a little bit of this calcium oxalate will dissolve in water. Most of it will remain a solid. That's important because in our body, what can happen is we can have this calcium oxalate form crystals called kidney stones, and they can be quite painful. So you can see these are crystals of calcium oxalate. This is an electron micrograph, so very high magnification, but these are the crystals and they would form in your body and then you would try to excrete them in your urine and that probably wouldn't be very comfortable. So calcium oxalate here, this is one of the main causes of kidney stones and that's because it's insoluble. It forms these crystals. Basically, kidney stones are mostly made up of calcium oxalate. So in answer to our question, CaC2O4 is insoluble. A very, very tiny amount dissolves in water. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.